Aisio, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for clicking. My name is Bukumi. So, this particular guy threw this question to Muslims and said, when will it be accepted to be a Muslim and a gay? So, let's check it out. You identify yourself as gay. Why do you then choose, because it is a choice, why do you then choose to be a Muslim when it says explicitly within Islam, within Judeo-Christian tradition, mm -hmm. that that is prohibited? Mm -hmm. It's a choice. <laughs> Oh, so I would just like to say that sexual orientation is not a choice. It's not a choice at all. It's a choice for you to be Muslim. But why so can't why would you? Be no, no, no! Don't still. get involved in this. Why would you choose to be Muslim? Why would you choose to be Muslim? Oh my God! It says that that is prohibited. It's a choice. At the end of the day, you can choose to be a Muslim, or you can choose not to be. It doesn't that it's prohibited. What is prohibited no, is the act. Is, is the act. Is the act. I can give you the ayah that it says it in. I am not here to talk about that one what act. What are you here to talk about? Let, 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 let Asif speak, talk, please. Let Asif speak. Let him, let him respond to your question. I am not here to talk about that one act. What I'm here to talk about is love. Love between two men, two women. When and will it be okay and accepted to be gay in Islam? That is not... It's a loaded question, but I'm sorry. You either be gay or you be Muslim. No one is forcing you, you to see, be Muslim. I think that is totally wrong. Yeah, okay. yeah, lady here in the blue. I think that is totally wrong. I mean, I, I was brought up in an Islamic household. I'm from an Islamic community. I'm from a very conservative Pakistani community. If my mum and dad can accept me, why can't the wider community accept me from the This lady in the blue, and then we come to the thing. Um, I personally think that the question you're asking is when will the Muslim community accept you as a, um, a gay person, accept gay or homosexuality? The thing is, um, homosexuality is not accepted in Islam, so the Muslim community will never accept homosexuality in a whole. But you being gay, on, not on a judgmental level, you can be gay, but then at the same time, if you choose to follow a religion which prohibits um, homosexuality, then you can't turn around and ask when will they accept for you to be gay. Can I just say then... Yeah. Can I just say, what are people like me meant to do then? You know, gay teenagers, the suicide rate is going up, homophobic crime is going unreported, and it's because of attitudes like this that, that is causing people like me such a dilemma. The danger with literalism is in insisting that there is only one interpretation and one way of doing things. Mm -hmm. If we take that literally, if we take literalism literally, then only 200 years ago, slavery was accepted and justified by religion. <laughs> Let me finish. The Quran explicitly and literally, let me finish and make this point. The Quran literally allows for slavery, as does the Bible, but we no longer practice it because our attitudes and interpretations mm. have changed. There is no one Muslim community, there is no one way of interpreting things. If he wants to identify as being Muslim, as this gentleman here said, Abdullah, he said he's not going to tell him he's not a Muslim, and I applauded him for that. He said he's not going to discriminate against him, you just did. And so no, even he disagrees right. with yes, you. Yes, you did. God does not exclude anyone. That is a crucial first point. And everyone has the right to define for themselves what their identity is. Okay. And we all have identities which quite often are contradictory. We all have to find some way of navigating that, of remaining faithful to our vision of God while also remaining faithful to who we are. But to add to that also, the rest of society, in particular state, should not try to impose its view or its morality upon um, Islam. People. This is a conversation that has to happen within Islam. That's and there what's might happening be room, here. There might that's be room. That's what's happening here, and, and that's what it, there might be room for growth and change. Ultimately, you decide for yourself. But the idea of saying to someone, you're a sinner, even if you do define them as a sinner, you cannot be part of this religion. That, to me, is anti-God, mm. because that's a decision that God makes, <laughs> not you. Not you. <laughs> to what you said about interpretation, you're pushing the idea that there is no true interpretation of Islam. By that exact logic, you're saying that the people, the extremists, right, are, are their, their interpretation of religion is also valid. There is mainstream Islam. There are things that are universally accepted within Islam. For example, the gentleman brought up the idea of, of, of drinking, of doing drugs, you know. Those things are prohibited within Islam. I can choose not to do them, or I can. Mm -hmm. But for me to go out and say, I'm a Muslim and I drink and that should be accepted, that's not religion. That's yeah, not you what you're to do her. You're, you're conflating. You're conflating choice and how somebody is without choice. That first of all, he was born the way he is, and I'm sure he can speak for himself. What I would like to say to you is, many, many Muslims 
would consider you sinful for not covering your face and would insist that you're sinful and you can't be a Muslim for showing your face and not wearing the jilbab, the long gown. So at the end of the day, this is all interpreted. And just as you've got the right, in fact, they'd also... No, no, no. Please, let me... Let me respond to you, please. No, because you're going into all No, 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 I'm talking about interpretation. Can I just finish my point? Go ahead, go ahead. They would also say that you shouldn't be speaking in front of men, you shouldn't be on television. Oh, come on. There are literalists who argue that too. We know that because they're in power. Let's just go back to Abdullah quickly, everyone. Everyone. Um, Osama bin Laden was asked, right, he was asked, uh, wh why do you go against the Islamic prohibitions of killing women and children? And he says, oh, the law's not set in stone. He has a, he's a modernist. Osama bin Laden is a reinterpretationist, modernist. He doesn't believe, he believes in different interpretations of Islam. You can reinterpret it. I'm, he, it's the same mentality that Majnu Nawaz has to reinterpret scripture when it suits him. In Islam, we believe he's, he's in rules, we believe in principles. Okay. You can't he's just change those things. Me. You can't yeah. just change those things when it okay. suits you. This is a very interesting discussion. So this like this is not a full video. Oh my god! I I just hope I get the full video one day. Then we'll sit down and watch it because I love how everybody is giving their own opinion about it, and it's mind blowing. So this guy has this question now: Why is that gay? Are not accepted in Islam? You being a gay or homosexual, you're not accepted in Islam. And this Muslim lady was like, it's prohibited, it's not accepted. That you cannot just do what is not pleasing in the sight of Allah, is not accepted in the Quran. And, and I love the fact that those speakers gave their point of view because you can't just counter people. Like, yes, he was not born that way, but he decided to change the way he behaves. But that doesn't mean that it should be neglected or treated badly you know i think if if this particular religion accepts him for who he says he is right now maybe he might decide to change change from being a gay to a normal person you don't know that religion changes people a lot some people might backslide some people might be lost on no they might be lost because they don't know what they are doing or they are just confused about life or maybe prayer pressure or something led them to that and the only thing that can give you correction that can correct you rightly and put you back to the track like the right way the right path is religion when we could talk about christianity islam that's why in christianity you see that they don't condemn people a gay can you have heard of gay pastors, gay this, lesbian, blah blah blah. Yes, it's not it's not proper to to be saying that I am this, I am a Christian. I'm no, it's not something you should be proud of or you should be boasting because normally in the society it's not accepted for you to claim that you're a gay, you're this, you're homosexual, you are a transgender. You know, some societies find it so weird. In societies we find it so weird and absurd. You get it. We find it so so weird so but in this case this guy was like why because it's even obvious that he's a gay the way he speaks even his dressing might not portray him to be like that because he dressed no very well you know but the way he speaks his demonstration his expression you will know this guy is a gay so even though without him you know, speaking it out or telling people that I'm a gay and I want to accept Islam, people will surely detect it. They will, uh, they will notice it. So, if he wants to accept Islam, so because he's a gay now, you don't want him to know. It's, it shouldn't be like that. I know, yes, in religion, you have to be serious. You have to you have to do things, though. The way God created you is the way you should behave and don't change any. No, that's how we, we the mindset of all of us when it comes to religion but this man is just trying to let this muslim lady know that don't condemn anybody the only person that has the right to condemn or judge is god when he meets his maker you know when he is old and all those things it's between him and god but you don't know maybe the man might might change people get to change they change religion change them because the way you you know welcome them let them understand God more and everything. Before you know their lifestyle, they will change back to the normal way God created them. So that's my own point of view on that particular matter because I believe, no, we should not 
you know, be selective when it comes to religion. Don't select some particular people. I don't say that this person is like this, this person is like that. So you can't be a Muslim, you can't be an Islam. You can't, no, 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 you can't be. No, 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 no. That's why in Christianity, they, you cannot be, no. Come freely. Even though you wear hijab, you dress these, you can worship in the church. They will accept you. Yes, there are some churches that don't allow it. They'll tell you to tie scarf, dress wear. They will not like sit in front seat. But they will not pursue you and say, you are a senior, you are this. That's the same thing I expect from Islam. Yes, this guy said he's a gay. But you just... No, that answer was really, really bad. You guys made him feel so bad. Why does he look as if he's the most sinful person on heart? You make him feel as if... His decision was totally wrong and he is he, just alone in this world. You know, all those kind of things causes depression, causes that's when you see people involving in suicide, depression, everything. All these little, little things you think, oh, it's nothing. But to some people, it means a lot. Do you know how long he has been willing to draw, come close to God? But because he knows he's not accepted in Islam, you know. People might say, oh, why can't you try other religion? Christian, this and that. Maybe he has not come across other religion in that light. I love the speakers, the way they tackle the issue. Even one of the speakers said, okay, just imagine those people that they are Muslims and decide not to wear hijab. Are you not saying that this, this and that? How will, you, mm -hmm, will you not treat them badly or what? Because no. Some people might decide, and she even made one statement that I, I find it so weird. He said, even yes, some Muslims, they drink, oh, they, they, they do this, they party, they do this, but you can't come out and say, I'm a Muslim, and I'm an alcoholic, I'm a Muslim. Oh, really? Is it because the guy did not, or the person did not specify that this is the bad life I am living, or this is the bad habits I have? There are a lot of people that, they don't hide it. They can be a Muslim and they, they do all these things. They might some of them are not proud of it per se, but they are into these things that are not accepted in Islam, drinking and the rest. But some of them you don't expect them to say it. But the reason why this guy is saying his own because he's so obvious in his life. You notice that the way he talks, the way he behaves, you know that he's a gay. Nobody needs to tell you that this person is a gay. That's the reason why he had to you know make reference to that matter that what is going on he really we really want to be a muslim but this is what he heard that gayism are not accepted in islam but let me know a point of view guys this is just my thoughts and i have nothing against anybody it's just my thoughts my belief and i think these are things that are supposed to be considered when it comes to religion like we are not perfect let me know your point of view in the comment box thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.